g'day mates, how's it going, Cobber? <laughs> fair income, fair suck of the old sauce bottle, eh? <laughs> ah, what is steak fries on about, hey? Eh? Well, my mates, it's Australia Day this week, hey! And it occurred to me that, well, we've been to lots of different places on this vlog, you know, visited loads of awesome countries all over the globe. I have never dedicated an episode to my home patch. So since January 26th is our national day, I thought that in the spirit of Australian mateship and good old fashioned outback hospitality, I would invite all of you guys to Australia to help celebrate Australia Day. Now, I know that with international travel still pretty much at a standstill, there's, well, there's bugger old chance that any of you can actually make it down here for our national holiday, but still, if you do happen to pop down this week for Australia Day, I'm gonna give you a few tips, some important info about Australia that you guys should probably know. So, first up, if you're gonna sound as Aussie as possible on Australia Day, you've got to announce, or pronounce, <laughs> both actually, you gotta pronounce Australia with as few syllables as possible, you know? So we don't say Australia, we say Australia. Pretty much just one syllable will do it. Straya. You know? Just like that. Straya. Just just practice that before you get here uh, and you'll fit right in. And also you'll know what the guy at customs is saying to you when you get off the plane and he goes, Welcome to Straya. You can go, thanks, copper. And uh, off you go. Um, so on Australia Day, uh, as you can imagine, we, we like to take the day off. We'll catch up with some friends. We'll usually cook some meat on a barbecue while a bloke stands next to you and tells you how he would do it. Um, and cricket. Cricket, guys. We love our cricket on Australia Day. If you don't know what cricket is, it's, uh, it's well, you, you guys have the internet. You can you can look it up. Um, but we love it. Love to watch it. Love to play it. We'll, we'll play it pretty much anywhere on Australia Day. In the backyard, on the street. In the beach, it's uh, it's pretty much our national pastime down here, guys. So it's with somewhat of a heavy heart that I got to let you guys know that a couple of blokes in our national team were caught cheating a couple of years back. And let me tell you, it did not go down well. I don't want to, I don't want to say too much about it because I'll, I'll start crying and throwing things around the room. But we are a proud sporting nation down here. We play hard but fair, and when we discovered that a couple of our own boys were cheating at the game that we love, well, we went into a three month national period of mourning. And let me tell you, the players responsible were given our harshest possible penalty, no beer for a week. Well, I'm I'm just kidding, they, they were still allowed to drink, you know, mid-strength beer, but it was, look, it was a dark time, probably the darkest time in Australia's history. I could talk more about it, but um, I'll, I'll probably won't stop if you get me started. So let me let me just say that we love our cricket. You know, they they say that down here, the Australian cricket captain has the second most important job in the country behind the prime minister, um, and the prime minister is the guy that runs the joint. That's probably another thing you guys should know. We don't have a president; uh, we have a prime minister. And back in the '80s, we had an app. Absolute ripper of a bloke as our PM, and his name was Bob Hawke. Why was he such a legend, guys? Well, not only was he running the place, but he also had the record for drinking the fastest yard glass of beer. I know. I mean, if you don't know what a yard glass is, it is a it is a vast amount of beer, and he he held the record, and that's why he got the job. That's that's pretty much how all our elected officials get into office. Uh, well, at least. Back then it was. Um, that's how you got into Parliament House. These days it's much more sophisticated. Instead of a beer sculling contest, it's a wine tasting competition from one of our many world-class wine regions. Um, we've matured a lot as a nation since those heady days of the 1980s. Uh, but in any case, if you're here during Australia Day and you mention the name Bob Hawke, most people will go, yep, bloody legend. Uh, uh, what else? You, um, you probably need to be across some of the funny sounding names of stuff that we've got down here. Because we've got some pretty weird sounding towns like uh, Wagga Wagga, uh, Udnadatta, Bong Bong. 
Um, and my personal favourite, Humpty Doo. That's a little town way up north. And in true Aussie fashion, there's pretty much nothing there in Humpty Doo except a pub. Yeah. Um, what else? I mean, you're probably listening to me talk about Australia, thinking to yourself, you got nothing down there except a bunch of alcoholics and cricket cheats. But there, but that's not true, guys. That's not true. We got loads of cool stuff here. We got stunning landscapes, amazing wildlife. Indigenous Australians are the oldest continuous living culture in the world, which is pretty special. Something to be very proud of down here. Um, and right here in Queensland, we got amazing stuff too. Queensland's the Australian state, which is home to your beloved vlog host, Barry Steak Fries, which is me, Barry Steak Fries. And uh, Queenslanders, we're a, we're a special breed, banana benders, the rest of the country calls us. I don't know why they call us banana benders, because banana's already bent. But anyway, we, we've got some cool stuff in Queensland. We've got the world's biggest reef. We got the planet's oldest rainforest, which is pretty amazing, and we've got the big pineapple. Yep, it's a 16 meter tall fiberglass pineapple. Why? Well, why not? I think is the answer to that. And let me tell you, we didn't stop there. We've got the big mango, we've got the big macadamia, the big cow, the big bottle, the big gumboot, the big cane toad. Um, what else? Oh, the big berry. <laughs> Ah, well not yet actually, but but hopefully we will. If they finally agree to the Barry Steak Fry statue that I've been asking them to build outside the Half Brick Studios here in Brisbane. Hey, who's with me? Ah, <laughs> Queensland. Uh, anyway, that's that's a bit of info about good old Stra, and uh, hopefully you guys found that interesting and hopefully useful for when you do come down here and hang out with us all, because we'd love to we'd love to have you along. Uh, but until then, let's. Check out some comments for this week. What do we got here? Lukey Boy Golden Apple Gaming says, Hi Barry! I'm a fan of Jetpack Joyride and Fruit Ninja. Great stuff there, Lukey Boy Golden Apple. Thanks for putting Jetpack Joyride first. That's a good choice. Uh, and great name. Great name too, Lukey Boy. Glad glad you're enjoying the games. Hopefully you've all been loving all the recent updates that we've had to those games too, like the Star Trek event on Jetpack Joyride. The Fruit Ninja, Fru uh, Fruit Ninja 2, which came out last year, that was that was pretty amazing and a cool update to the original Fruit Ninja as well. So those games are good to go if you're not into them. You should get amongst them. Thanks for that, Lukey boy. Great first up comment there and great name. What else? Shrek Wazowski, another great name. Monsieur Barry, very nice. Do you prefer steak with a side of fries or fries with a side of steak? Well, that's... It's a good question there, Shrek. Very happy with the quality of names so far. So I'm gonna give you guys all a tip. Put your steak on top of your fries. That way all the delicious steak juice drips down onto your fries and you get steak flavored fries. Ha <laughs> ha, Barry Steak Fries. He knows a thing or two, guys. You are welcome, planet Earth. What else we got? Billy. Pretty good name, not as good as the first two. Billy says, hey Barry, I was wondering how you feel about Craig as a friend. Tell him I said hi. I, hi Billy, thanks for getting in touch. I will tell Craig that you said hi. And look, I, I really like having Craig as a friend. You know, he's, well, he's pretty much the only scientist that will actually talk to me. I tend to get the cold shoulder uh, from the rest of the mob. I mean, I do constantly break into their lab and steal their jetpack, so it's probably fair enough, but look, I'm a good guy deep down, you know? Well, Craig knows, anyway. He's, he's also the only one who supported the Barry Steak Fry statue idea. Everyone else just, just kind of laughed at me. Yeah, anyway. Cheesy Nugget says, what's your record on Jetpack Joyride? Whew, what's my record, Cheesy Nugget? Another good name. Uh, my record's about eight seconds, I reckon. That's that's about how long it takes me to scull a beer while I'm playing Jetpack Joyride. Um, I assume that's the record that you're talking about, mate. I know it's not quite Bob Hawke level, but it's still it's not, it's not too bad. Um, if you're talking about the record of how far I've gotten, how far I've gotten in the actual game, um, not very far. Not very far at all, Cheesy. It, very hard to get a good score on that game while you're also sculling a beer. There's a tip. Uh, Curtis Toasty Pants says, my name Jeff. 
Uh, nice try, Jeff. We can all see that your name is Curtis Toasty Pants. Another great name to add to the list this week, I might add. Don't don't try and give me that Jeff business, mate. And look, if your name really is Jeff, which I'm sure that it's not, uh, you should totally go by the name Curtis Toasty Pants instead. And also, if it is Jeff, just keep it to yourself. No need to to mention that in the comments either. Um, so Curtis Toasty Pants, that gets my vote if, if that's what you're angling at. Um, all right. That'll do us. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hopefully see you very soon, either hanging out down here in, in Oz, or failing that, just, just watching me on the vlog. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Stryer.